guys, it's Joey Show with Let's Learn Archery. And we're back for revenge. I'm running really late due to Christmas stuff. But I'm tucked. And I've got the wind good. And if all the deer are deaf, they didn't hear me come in. I'm going to keep this short and simple. Try to get this done. I got my brother's old compound with me. And if everything goes good, I'll have about a 30 yard or closer shot. I should be able to stay pretty hidden behind this tree. And also have opportunities to shoot behind me. This tree is perfectly set up for what I need. So stick with me. We're going to try to get this done. Just hope we can get it done. Uh, I'm looking for something with horns. So if does come by, I'm kind of crap out of luck. Until tomorrow when the doe season comes back in. So let's get her done.
Oh my god. I just smoked a buck. 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 There he goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just smoked a buck. I just smoked. Oh my god, I just shot a buck with my brother's bow. Oh my god. This is the first Christmas that we, that we, he wasn't with us. <laughs> he only had one of his, one of his sheds were gone. He was a, had a big five point side, not a huge buck. But I've never saw the deer. Actually, yeah, I did. I know what deer it is. It was the big 10-pointer I was hunting. <laughs> he just didn't have his other side. Oh, my God. I've got to find that horn. <sighs> Thank you, God. You do things in the most mysterious of ways. The <laughs> most mysterious. I got to call my dad. just killed just killed a big buck with my brother's bow it never ceases to amaze me how big our God is in the crappy year that I've had I don't even care what kind of deer this is walking down the hill. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't have a tag till tomorrow. I just feel so blessed. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> well, I'm able to get myself together here and, uh, I've got my mom and my wife and my two nieces coming here to help me recover him. He's, he's dead right over here. I called a couple of my family members and told them what happened. Uh, highest moment of my bow hunting career as far as what I've accomplished was something that I wanted to accomplish with so bad. Uh, my brother passed away earlier this year and he sent me that deer. There's no way fans or butts about it family's coming through the woods right now we're gonna go up here follow the blood trail if there is a good one should be and uh we're gonna recover this deer together is that you and her in the video i can find my airplane you can't 
down to right here. Look behind yeah, you. Yeah, I see that area. Look behind you on the ground. Behind you more. Yep. See all the blood? Which one? I think they shit my hair up under. Very eight inches in the ground of this thing. Camden. You see the arrow? Is that, is that got blood on it? Yeah. Okay, come with me. Down here is the blood, baby. Come here. That's this one right here, look. See that big thing here on there? Okay, let's try it. Right here. You see the blood right here? Look at that. Look at all the blood. I have no key. That big ten pointer, that's a seven pointer. That's the one that I was hunting. <laughs> Is it? it? Looks like he broke it off a long time ago. That's a big old buck right there. <laughs> yeah, don't look like he didn't shed that horn. That thing got broken off. Or if it's even a deer we don't even know about. You know? Think about that. What buck would that be? Oh, man. Did you see that blood trail? Where'd you hit it? Stroked it in the heart. I just, I, I didn't get greedy, but I mean, I shot him through the heart. 
Let's drag him down the hill and we'll do a little interview with him with my mom and Canvas. Toby, Toby, you know the way back. Yeah, I do. Okay. That's good. I'm not real positive what happened there. I'm afraid this horn's gonna break off, but. You want to help him drag it? I can hold that. You want to help him drag it? Mm -hmm. I can hold that. Grab it, it's here. Uh, so he was kind of quartered to me a little. I didn't get greedy. It was uphill. I tucked it low and behind the leg. And see how it came out high? There's a lot of people. They'll shoot deer in the middle of the body. That air will come out up here. And they'll single one it. Babe, that's a mature deer. Like, that's not even close to being a young deer at all. It's a big old buck. Come on, George. I don't want to fall. Don't grab his horn, baby. Yeah. Mom, that's not the bus that I thought it was. Well, if you look at his head, he either didn't ever grow a horn. Well, I got the family with me, and we got this buck out. It wasn't the buck I thought it was. I called some people saying it was a different buck, but to be honest, I don't, I don't have a single clue what deer this is. What I do know is he's a big, mature buck, and I killed him with my brother's freaking bow, and I got the family with me here to recover it. This is probably one of the highest of highs that I've had in my hunting career in general, being able to shoot it with my brother's 35-year-old bow. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys have a blessed Christmas. And always remember to put God first. Thank you. What do you think, bud? That big... Yeah, that's cool, boy. There's no room. Come up here real quick. Look at that track. As big as my damn hand. <laughs> that is a track. Well, we got this deer back to the four-wheeler with it being where it was it was kind of tough so waited went home talked to my dad came back we got it back to the four-wheeler and we're gonna get him on out of here okay trying to keep his face out of the dirt Athlete. You ain't whipping nothing to say, but I'm gonna whip you. I'm just breathing in tail fumes. <laughs> 